Hello everyone and welcome back to our Ark Survival Ascent series. I am Survivor K and yeah, today we're gonna go through, from my point of view, what it is. The most dreaded, hands down, the most dreaded cave in Ark. So, let me show you where we're at. I think he mode went off, yeah. We are at the HF. Hard, heavy, <laughs> I was about to say heavy, hard underwater cave. So we're about here. I think the cave should be located around here. But the reason why we're here is because he's the furthest most strip of land we could find. So what I want to do is because that's Giga Mountain. While I do want Johnny here uh, for help. <laughs> I do want to make to keep him safe, so I'm trying to keep him somewhere where the gigas will not aggro, or if they aggro, they drown before. Yeah, they won't drown here, but let, let's hope for the best. Right, so let uh, let me show you what I have with me for this caving adventure. So we got both land and water gear, land and underwater gear, and both land and underwater dinos. And I got two underwater dinos, two bassies, because this cave is no joke. Is really, really, really no joke. So here, let me pop some oxygen. And this guy should have 30, this girl should have 30. And hello. And we have enough. Oh my God, I almost, my God. <laughs> it barely started in an alpha game. Okay, okay, okay. That was that was a nice start. That was a nice um, wake up call. Oh my god, that was so close. So 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 close. Jesus. And I didn't put the bedroll up there either. So <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, so close. Okay, so we got this alpha down. Well, at least it's something. Have an alpha kill. Finally. And some more levels. Do I have my... Chibi on... Can you please go away? Mantas, you've been the biggest pain in my... Yeah, I do have... You have been the biggest pain in my rear end throughout the whole dance series. Okay. So the reason why I have these two is because the cave is no joke. Now I'm going to show you where the cave is, if I can find it, you know, much of a hustle. Cave, are you here or are you there? Are you anywhere? Huh. Looks like I dived a little bit too far away from the cave. I think it should be around here somewhere. Yeah, come on. Is it there? Is this you? Are you the cave? Yes, you are the cave. Yay, I found it. <laughs> and we got oil too. So, this is the place. Hang on. The shark's still following. No. Okay, so this is the place where you can find the cave. Right here. Yeah, right there. This is the hard underwater cave entrance. And the reason why we call it hard underwater cave entrance and not caverns of the whatever is because uh, stuff inside is no joke. Here, let me let me get get away from the lag, the stuttering, the freezing that happens when you go in the cave. And also we have two bassies for a reason. Let me. This is the Baryonyx. 
and this is the male bass. Now the male bass is not that strong. So I'm gonna do this. The reason we get these two is um, because you have so many nasties inside, it's unreal. And not only you got many nasties inside, you also get alphas. Like they're not just many, they're strong also. And you see those? You can easily aggro, easily, I mean it's so easy to aggro, look at it, One, 190, 190, 280, and yeah, these are the levels, these are the vanilla levels in this cave, 300 is the max level in this cave, and you can have alphas on 300, alpha shark on 300 means you will fight the entire cave, which means mate boosting is just a part of it. You need somebody to share the load, you need somebody or some other dino to help out with the damage. While the loot here is subpar, so I I just have to say it. I don't know, people who get big loot here, I don't know, they're, they're terribly and extremely lucky, so yeah. But um, the loot here are subpar, they're just, just as good as the loot in the easy other underwater cave and that one is much much more manageable right so when you go in the cave if you want to go for a quick spin for the artifact and there we go we have our first mosa how about your attack also because we got piranhas there you know? Are no joke if you keep letting them hit you. Two Mozas, oh my god, 160 and a lot, a lot, a lot. And they're gonna keep aggroing on the oh, lord. <laughs> I hope I'm not dying here. Yeah. You just keep to the right. I was meant wanting to say before Mozas started munching on my basics. And places. Mosas and places, man, man, this is no joke here. Come on, come on, come on. I hope the other Bassy doesn't die. But this one is, is way tankier. Here, here, come here. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Great, great, great. I hope I managed to save that guy, girl, whatever it is. Because, my god, man, another classic. At least he's eight. It's fine. And I don't have a. What's it called? I do not have a. Any kind of Bassy blueprint either. So it looks like that Bassy is gonna take a massive, massive beating. If it even survives. At best, we can always stop and uh, stop and uh, feed them, force feed them. But it looks like she's not feeling really well. Uh, I would go on her and check it because this guy already has. Like, this guy still has more health. And by me sitting on her, it's actually gonna give her a 10% damage reduction and damage increase, which may not be that bad. Yeah, let's try to go there. Ah, uh, she doesn't take that much of a beating. These, these are levels. I put some of the levels there, so she should be fine. Anyways, let me get back to the other bassy. So yeah, if you want to go straight to the artifact, which is probably what we're gonna go towards as soon as we get rid of the pests, just keep going uh, on the middle of the... Oh my god! Where are all the besties here? 
Wow, I've never seen this game so filled with nasties. Three two souls, oh my god. Jesus, man. This is a little bit uh, dangerous. Look at the damage they're lashing. Jesus. And this is a 140. Oh my lord. Main boosted and all that. Thank god it's not an alpha one close by. And I see another one. That's a third one? Okay, the 141 should go down fairly soon. Yay. I love this. I don't know what's with this fantasy of people developing games. Design abilities to impair your vision. I mean, I want to play the game, my guy. I don't... Oh, seriously? And I hit him. I didn't want to hit this guy. In all honesty, I did not want to hit this guy. I cannot see anything. Just drop on the floor. Ish, hitting a donkey here is not a good idea. Here we go, and another Mosa. God. Yeah, this is a really, really tough cave. Really tough cave. And it has two parts. One is the underwater part, which, from my point of view, is the most difficult. And you have another one, which is um, ground part. But the ground part doesn't have much, to be honest. I'm still going to show it to you, because why not? But um, just so you know, it doesn't have much. Just a bunch of spur notes and a lot of mobs to kill. Uh, are we good? Did we actually survive that? How? <laughs> oh my god. Are the two souls dead? Huh. Okay. How are you? Oh my lord. Yeah, never mind. Okay, so let's swap for a little bit. And let me force feed. Oh, nice. And let me force feed uh, these guys because it's, yeah, it's yeah, <laughs> at least a little bit. Just let me reach 10k. This is insane, man. The amount of damage they take. Wow. Truly wow. So, yeah, you just found out why this is the hard underwater game. <laughs> ah, and the reason why I'm going on a bassy, so you may, may think, but why don't you go on a Tuso? Why don't you hunt a Tuso or a Mosa and go in? It's because the Tuso and the Mosa do not fit in the artifact chamber. And this guy does. Also, the Tuso and the Mosa are vulnerable to the Electrophorus and the Snyderia. So, yeah, yeah. You don't want to be electrocuted here. You don't want to get off to your mount. You don't want to be stunned. You don't want to be anything like it. So this makes Bassi our only viable option. So I got a few more hits healed. And let's see. Um, the artifact. So if you kept going straight and right on the middle, this, this is the middle path. Right on the middle path, you don't need to overthink it much. It's very lin linear. Just keep going straight. Uh, follow the lights and at a point you will see that thing on the right now that is the artifact chamber location right after this pillar you go straight down straight down and you hope you don't get stuck if you get stuck here maybe the end of it right straight down and here here is where you find the second batch of nasties. Uh, albeit the nasties here are a little more tamed. Like at best you can find. Hello, where are you? Bassy. 
Did you get stuck? Right. Follow me now. Excellent. Was it that difficult? Thank you. Right. And just follow this blue thing. It's again, it's fairly linear. Um, I'm not sure I can do much more about the lighting. Uh, maybe put gamma three. Yeah, gamma three looks like it should do it. Um, there are a bunch more nasties here, and pay attention to them because they're smaller. And they are. I'm not sure if this was the intention. But it looks like they're intendedly, uh, like intentionally put there to kill you when you get off your bassy. And these guys, the big guys, the megalodons, and the, you can find donkeys here sometimes and whatnot. They are here to take your eyes off the electrophoruses and the anglerfish that can actually um, kill you when you want to grab the artifact. And there is the artifact. So be very careful inside this cave. Um, I've had plenty of times myself in Evolve and Ascended when uh, when I died here trying to grab the artifact and it was not pleasant getting back. It was not pleasant getting my fish back and yeah it was very 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 uh, how to put it stressful situation and that guy there is a donkey. Now donkeys Donkeys are passive, unless you attack them. Now, I've attacked a donkey up there, but... And here is where you should keep your bassy on uh, passive, your uh, mate boosting bassy. And the artifact is not spawned. Why? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God, no. Ah. All the way here. For nothing? Seriously, or? Yeah. You can see their man mantas, you can see their, uh, the, the scorpid thingy, the, I don't know, Eurotroids, I think they are, they're called, and... Yeah, while they are a very good source of black pearls, I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> as simple as that. I'm not gonna go there. So, artifact should be here, in theory, on that rock. Uh, we don't have it, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue with the cave and show you guys the caves, the cave altogether, including the landmass, and come back afterwards, and hopefully it's gonna be spawned there. I don't know what's with the single player and artifacts not being spawned, but apparently, wildcard, they don't fix this in years of arc. It's the same bug on Evolve, by the way. So, let's see. Um, you keep going ahead. You came from the left side, right? We came from there. So we can. We need to go on the right side as soon as fish allows us. Hello, can you please? Thank you. Right now, the the loot crates are back there. I didn't see any spawn. Some of them are back there, right over the. Pillar. Some of them are on the ground around here, and some of them are a little further in the next cave. But if the artifact didn't spawn, I doubt we're gonna see any loot crate anytime soon. And while I do hate this cave, right? Is is dread? I I'm not the only one. People dread this cave in general. This cave is also a good source of pearls. You can see plenty of them lying on the ground. And you can also see, have uh, the luck of killing a bunch of Eurypterids here. If they spawn and they don't turn into an Alpha Mosa. Now, to keep pushing forward through the cave, you need just to go further, forward. And you will have this, another like tunnel here. Um, slightly on the right side and just keep going and keep going forward there's no other way but forward and keep going and hope you don't get swamped and the reason why i'm pacing myself when i'm going forward is because 
okay, while it can aggro quite a bunch of things regardless, it's easier to handle them if you keep them uh, in front of you as opposed to if they swarm you. So, uh, at the end of the cave here, sometimes you may find loot at the very bottom. But, is not always the case, like now. And we reached the land portion. Now, the land portion is much, 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 much easier. Much easier. And let me grab this. And let me see. Have anything valuable? No. And I'm gonna die of hunger. Hello? Bassy, don't scare me. Jesus, I skipped a bit. Holy John. <laughs> ah, and we need to put our baryonyx to use now. Can you go back to your Pokeball? Thank you. Mm, Admiral's not. There we go. Now, for him, I brought these things. You, you can go, I can actually go, wait, 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 wait. I can actually go and grab some more fish. There we go. There we go, there we go. Quite, quite quiet. The This area of the cave was very quiet underwater. Well, albeit we did get a heavy concentration of nasties in the beginning, so there's that. Anyways. The landmass. The landmass is boring. Plain and boring. You just keep following the road. You have sometimes you have a little patches uh, left, little patches right. There should have been plenty of scorpions here. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> and while this looks stunning, right? This looks amazing. Yeah, I can appreciate it. I don't like building in caves, especially underwater caves but i can appreciate the beauty of this place right so it's it's it, it looks nice it looks nice it's gorgeous um you can't fit i think you cannot fit gigas inside but rexes they look like they fit here so there's that and that's a one way there it's actually un the only way here you can if you go here um i think you should be able to find some explorer node I don't actually remember because um, I don't frequently do this. Actually, I don't do this at all. I'm just doing it now on camera. I think it's the third time I'm doing this, so there's that. Anyways. Anyways, this is the last uh, landmass. So, hey, scorpions. Pay attention to these guys, they're level 300, max 300 also. Um, this cave is, is no joke, as I said. Bring bring heavy mounts, they bring... Thoroughly leveled, if not bred. Right, so... I don't think you can do this properly without some form of boosting, whether it's imprint and mating, or mating. Yeah, you can mutate the holy Jesus. Uh, but there's no point in not coming with something imprinted because it's so easy to get. So do yourself a favor, max out your chances, get something solid here, because as you can see, they're not joking around. They are not joking around whatsoever. And they got the rabies. Right. So you got, uh, we got here some Explorer node. I don't know why I'm getting them still, because I maxed out on levels and I got all the Explorer nodes that they're not popping out. But just to show you one or two, I may have missed one or two explore notes. But in all honesty, I don't really, I don't really care about them. <laughs> I honestly don't really care about them. So that was the bridge, right? We came off over that bridge in the landmass, and we have a little bit more on the left side. I don't think we can reach there. Huh, let me think about it. No, we cannot reach there. That's no mass there. And that's the way we came in. So, yeah, 
this is your hard underwater cave. This is everything you can find in it. Um, plenty more nasties on the ground if you're on the server, especially when you're loading it. And that's about it. That's about it. There's not much, not much here. Um, most of the action is happening underwater, and that's where you should prepare the most for. By this point, if you're getting into underwater, I presume you already have a good land caving dino, so you don't need anything special like Baryonyx, Baryonyx is optional here. You don't even need to get here. I mean, this is gives nothing. <laughs> it gives you meat and XP at best. Right, and now we got to go back and put the bassies back to use. Let's see, do we have nasties? No? Good. Good. And we got you here. And I need the gear back up. Which one was the lowest health? You were the lower health. Okay. Follow me, Bassy. And let's go back and hope Nasties didn't spawn, but hope if we get some loot. So, to go back, the same thing. Just follow the main path. Uh, you're gonna reach a cave right there. You're gonna reach the tunnel. Head down the tunnel, and the artifact is gonna be on the left side this time. Fairly, fairly straightforward cave. The difficulty doesn't lie in the cave's layout. It actually lies in the amount of pretty tough water dinos you can find here. And even like this, I got a little lucky because I did not get any alpha. The moment you get an alpha and you start attacking the alpha, literally everything is going to come and attack you. So... Pay attention to that. You don't want. Uh, you you want to try to avoid aggroing a massive amount of donkeys when you're attacking an alpha. If it cannot be avoided, it cannot be avoided. Like that, that's no biggie. Hopefully, your bassy can handle it. And the artifact, it is still not here. I don't know what's happening with the artifacts on the single player, but the artifact should have been there. So, it is what it is. I'm gonna come back again off camera here and take it. Anyway, I need two of them, so... Right, and that was it. That was the cave. Um, a bit anticlimactic, if you ask me, because the artifact didn't spawn, but you guys should have everything you need out of this video to be able to go in and get your um, artifact of the whatever guy it is here. I forgot what, what artifact, what the cunning? Yeah, I think it's the cunning, the artifact of the cunning. Right, so there should have been another loot. Don't get fooled by the lights on the wall. That's not from the loot. There should have been loot in theory or sometimes. We got one loot crate here. Let's see if anything attacks us. No? No. Good. Not really useful. As you can see, the the loot crates... Ah, man. The loot crates are not okay here. <laughs> if you're coming here for the loot, going for a disappointment. And to go back, just follow the, the glowy glows. Straight. It's, it's a straight line. As I said, it's a straight line. Just you know, the glowing weed shows you the path, the way in and the way out, back. So just follow them. Right, and the lag, well, the freezing for getting outside the cave. And that was it. We are almost, almost safe. Almost safe. We have one, one pet stop. One pet stop and we're safe. Yay. Ah, uh, underwater. Now, I don't have any kind of whatever water phobia thingy, but... But... 
<laughs> I hate the underwater on the island. Let's put it like this. It's cramped. It's filled with big and bad and nasties that want to kill you, so... Yeah, and we should have Johnny right there, unless he died and I didn't... I didn't see. Johnny! Friend is coming. Hey, there's Johnny. Johnny didn't die. In our bassies didn't die, which which is something. Cool. Right. Let me How do I park here without getting killed? <laughs> Okay, take this, take this, Johnny, Johnny, thank you. Right, so that was it guys, that was the artifact of the cunning, even though I didn't get it uh, because it didn't spawn, but I'm gonna come back here off camera and get it. But this is the underwater heart cave and this is where you can find Artifact of the Cunning. I do hope this was useful for you and thank you for sticking this long. Don't forget to do the whole YouTube Trinity, like, share, subscribe, spread the love and see you guys next time.